Buddha of the world has been walking barefoot along the shores of the Ganges for 49 years. He helps us learn how to find way to liberation and guide us through darkness like a shining heart. The Buddha was born as a prince of the Shakya clan and was named Siddhartha. When he was born, a Shang predicted that he would grow up to become either a great holy king or else some greatest who would influence people's spiritual life. As the future Shakya clan's ruler, young prince Siddhartha lived a luxurious life filled with comfort and pleasures at the palace. In the quest for moksha, Siddhartha left the palace in search of a way to save all beings from reincarnation. He came to a forest at the foot of snowy mountains and practiced asceticism there. For this long year, Siddhartha induced every form of ascetic practice until he finally realized that the middle part was the answer. Cultivation is like playing a musical string in judgment. The string will snap if it is too tight, or do not make any sound if it is too loose. Indulgence in sensual pleasures or extreme penances are attachments. Be at peace with the middle part for achieving the liberation of body and mind. Siddhartha sat in cultivation beneath the Bodhi tree. Alone, he confronted the tortures of salesmen from Mara's evil horse. <laughs> The earth is my witness. At that moment, Siddhartha felt total tranquility and complete emptiness. He realized the truth for himself and became the Buddha. Strange indeed, all sentient beings exist with the Buddha nature, but it is suppressed by vexation and delusion. I wish to be humble. I am not in self by fame and wealth. I have come to spread the Dharma, to free all sentient beings from the sea of Samara. For the remaining 45 years of his life, the Buddha have traveled in the Gangetic plains, teaching from Anubis to servants. Ascetics and householder, murderers stood at Agulimala, and cannibals stood at Alavaka. He and the Shangha traveled through the subcontinent, exploding the drama. I've shown you what Buddhism is all about. Right understanding, right thought, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness, and right concentration. I have never been tiring of teaching the drama. The Buddha was born in the palace. While still in his youth, he became a monk. He attained enlightenment under a Bodhi tree. At the age of 80, between a pair of Sala tree, the Buddha entered Nivatra. You yourself must drift. The Buddha only pointed the way. I have done everything I could to have bring sentient beings to life and show you the way. Let the perceptive inform your understanding and the teaching of drama guide you in your journey and I will be with you forever. <laughs> <laughs>